You know, Bats, we've been doing this little runaround of ours for years. It's been loads of laughs. But the sad fact is, none of us are getting any younger. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 satisfying deaths of cartoon characters. There is only darkness for you. That's your defense? No, my defense is eat me. Hey, you're back already! For this list, we're looking at characters from animated shows that got what they had coming to them, leaving audiences to rejoice. Of course, these demises won't be nearly as satisfying if we spoil them, so proceed with caution. Which cartoon character's death filled you with satisfaction? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Toffee, Star vs. the Forces of Evil Don't let the goofy name fool you. Toffee possesses echoes of a dark overlord, a Shakespearean villain, and a crafty businessman. As slick as he is slimy, Toffee may be the most intimidating foe that Star ever went up against. Toffee seemingly met his end at the conclusion of the first season, but only his physical form was destroyed. Biding his time, Toffee made a comeback during the battle for Muni. His unwavering confidence in the wake of his apparent victory makes it all the more satisfying when Star taps into her muberty form, blasting the villain into a gooey pulp. <laughs> Toffee remains self-assured until his grotesque end. Considering everything Toffee put Ludo through, it's fitting that he delivers the final blow. Only I know how this all turns out. It turns out you did. That's what you get! Number 9. The Lich, Adventure Time The Lich is a unique case, being the incarnation of all things eventually dying. Are you my son? How do you defeat an embodiment of death? With life, naturally. As the Lich delivers a haunting monologue, it appears Finn may meet the same grim fate as Billy and Prismo. Finn finds the Lich's weakness when he gets slapped with guardian blood. I am the end. And I have come for you, Finn. <sighs> Its regenerative properties turn the Lich into his exact opposite, an innocent, albeit giant, baby. His downfall is epic and absurd, which we've come to expect from Adventure Time. This isn't the last we see of the Lich, as he attempts to act through Sweet Pea and has a brief stint as New Death. You've been puppeting New Death this whole time! The spawn of life and death is a creature without purpose fit only to be a pawn in my eternal quest to end all life. Every time the Lich is put back down, though, we breathe a sigh of relief. Number 8. Tammy Guterman, Rick and Morty After traumatizing Morty and the audience, we all cheered when Rick turned King Jellybean into, well, jelly. Uh, no, it's cool! Rick, portal, hurry! <laughs> We have to give this spot to Tammy, however, as our hatred of her was built up over multiple episodes. Summer's classmate and bird person's love interest, Tammy seems like a minor character. Not even Rick could have predicted Tammy being an undercover Galactic Federation agent. In a lot of ways, what I really am is a deep cover agent for the Galactic Federation, and you guys are a group of wanted criminals, and this entire building is, in a certain sense, surrounded. Using her wedding to assemble the Federation's enemies, Tammy shoots Bird Person and turns him into her secret weapon. Tammy finally gets her comeuppance two seasons later. It's highly satisfying that Summer gets the drop on Tammy, as she betrayed her trust and friendship. It's just as gratifying that Rick finishes Tammy off, having made him go to a wedding, among other things. I should have said that one first. Number 7. Count Vlad Dracula Tepes, Castlevania Be it the original NES classic or Castlevania 3, it's always rewarding when the player defeats Dracula. The standoff against Dracula towards the end of Castlevania Season 2 is every bit as intense as a video game boss fight. You must be the Belmont. 
While the outcome is satisfying, it's also much sadder than we would have expected. Overpowering his son, Dracula is reminded of what he once had and realizes what he's about to destroy. My boy. I'm... I'm killing my boy. Repenting for his sins, the vampire allows Alucard to stake him. Rotting away, Dracula attempts to give his son a hug goodbye, but he isn't permitted such a luxury. It's a devastating demise, and we wouldn't have it any other way, even if Dracula does get resurrected down the line. Number 6. The Earth Queen, The Legend of Korra Despite the unforgivable deeds that he committed, a part of us did shed a tear for Amon when Tarlock took his brother's life as well as his own. It will be just like the good old days. The same cannot be said about Hu Ting, aka the Earth Queen. Whereas many of the other villains in this universe are sympathetic to an extent, the Earth Queen is simply an arrogant ruler who puts her ego before her kingdom and the rest of the world. Seize these hoodlums and throw them in prison until they decide to show proper respect for the crown! Her oppressive treatment of airbenders and vendetta against Team Avatar further fuels our disdain for her. That doesn't mean we'd go as far as Zaheer does. Still, there is poetic justice in seeing the airbender take the Earth Queen's breath away, resulting in arguably the franchise's most graphic death. Freedom is just as essential as air. And without it, there is no life. There is only darkness. Number 5. Bill Cipher, Gravity Falls Gravity Falls had one of the most satisfying finales ever, and Bill Cipher's defeat is one of the many reasons why. Creepy, funny, and relishing in all of the chaos he unleashes, Bill is everything you could want in a villain. Don't you toy with me, shooting star! I see everything! Ow! Not again! Why? Every time! Anyone threatens Dipper and Mabel, though? They have got to go. On the verge of victory, Bill convinces Ford to let him inside his mind in exchange for his family. My only condition is that you let my brother and the kids go. Fine. No, Grigal Ford, don't trust him! It's a deal! Bill may be manipulative, but Stan is the ultimate con man. Tricking Bill into entering his mind, Stan punches the Dream Demon's daylights out while Ford fires up the memory gun. You idiot! Don't you realize you're destroying your own mind too? Eh, it's not like I was using this space for much anyway. All that remains of Bill is a statue, leaving us to wonder if he's truly gone for good. Perhaps a mystery for another day. Number 4. Darth Maul, Star Wars Rebels we all thought Darth Maul fell to his doom in The Phantom Menace, but that wasn't even the half of it. The Zabrak warrior resurfaces in The Clone Wars and meets his final resting place in Rebels. I will mend this old wound. It's only appropriate that Maul's last stand is against Obi-Wan, given their history. Unlike their previous battles, however, this standoff is more like something out of a classic Western or samurai duel. While Maul hasn't changed much since they last met, Obi-Wan is much wiser. <laughs> As such, Obi-Wan attempts to impart some words of wisdom until he's given no choice but to draw his lightsaber. Learning from Qui-Gon's defeat, Obi-Wan bests Maul, who takes some solace in knowing that the Chosen One will bring about Darth Sidious's end. Tell me, is it the Chosen One? He is. He will avenge us. Number 3. Super Shredder – Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Throughout the numerous iterations of Ninja Turtles, Shredder has been portrayed as either silly or sinister. The 2012 incarnation definitely leans towards the latter, becoming more unhinged each season. Once he becomes Super Shredder, any humanity that might have remained in Oroku Saki is consumed by power and vengeance. At last, my nightmares will end for tonight. You will finally perish. 
In a reverse of the 1990 Ninja Turtles movie, Master Splinter falls from a rooftop to his demise at the hands of his nemesis. The following episode mirrors the secret of the ooze. But instead of merely getting crushed by a dock, Super Shredder receives the bombastic send-off he deserves. It's the ultimate final battle that utilizes most of the major characters, culminating with Leo avenging his father. Yeah! It's hard to imagine the franchise ever topping this. Number 2. Aku – Samurai Jack since the first episode, this series has been building towards Jack defeating the shapeshifting Master of Darkness. It took five seasons and about 16 years, but fans were finally granted the rousing finale they were promised. Even with the support of his allies, Jack's efforts appear futile against the relentless Aku. You're nothing but insignificant insects to Aku. Ashi proves to be the key in her father's undoing, as she discovers the power to take Jack back to where his journey started. Returning to where he first faced Aku, Jack is given an advantage. It's a clever solution capped off by a thrilling final confrontation. Do not worry, Samurai. You will see me again. But next time, you will not be so fortunate. As Jack plunges his sword at a helpless Aku, we all take a deep breath, knowing that this longtime rivalry is about to meet its heart-pounding conclusion. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Diane Simmons, Family Guy, a death worthy of a Hitchcockian thriller. <gasps> La Sombra, Hey Arnold, The Jungle Movie, putting the fall in downfall. Anti-Pops, regular show. A tale of two brothers comes to a bittersweet end. I wish I could take it all back. You can try. You and I together, brother. Admiral Zhao, Avatar The Last Airbender. See ya in the fog of lost souls. Take my hand! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Joker – Batman Beyond – Return of the Joker Throughout the DCAU, the Joker has survived numerous brushes with death. With the censors constantly on their tails, we never thought this creative team would get to deliver a true Joker death. We also never expected to see this Joker warp Robin's mind and learn Batman's secret identity. And the dear lad began to share such secrets with me. Secrets that are mine alone to know, Bruce. It's true, Batsy. I know everything. This film went all out giving us a confrontation we'd always wanted. It all boils down to a tormented Tim Drake choosing between Joker and Batman. Deliver the punchline. While two versions of the scene exist, the one that sticks with us sees Tim fire at the Joker, who for once has nothing funny to say. That's not funny. That's not... <laughs> it may be the most satisfying Joker death across any incarnation. Although, the Clown Prince of Crime still has a trick up his sleeve. Can't be. Oh no, your old eyes do not deceive you, Brucey. After all, who know me better than you? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.